Alright guys, welcome back to some more Satisfactory. We got Loki joining us today, who took... Where'd you go? I'm pushing buttons. Oh. Did what What did it uh, give us for options? I think you can back out. and. I got you the uh, Caterium circuit boards. Oh, okay. You didn't, have, you didn't have great options, but that one, trust me, will help you later. Okay, and we need nine more supercomputers for the supercomputer resource. But, so today we have a bunch of tips that you guys gave um, for how to do things properly. Apparently if you click drag, you can take as much as you can hold in your inventory of certain items. There's just tons of, like, really good tips that you guys had. Um, apparently I could just upgrade a belt by just picking a better belt and clicking on it. Oh, you didn't know that one? No. Because I've always been yeah. removing them. And also, apparently, if I... Um, push the button while holding on a recipe, I can sit there and set which um, button it's bound to. So if you just click with the number 5, click yeah. with the number 6, now I have 1, 2, and 3 tier belts on my list, which is awesome. I'm actually going to want to do this. There we go. And people have been saying to upgrade to the newer power poles, but the newer power poles require some of the uh, better wire for six connections, and I usually don't carry too much of it on me, but I might end up using some more of it. So Trust me, you're going to want to automate it. Automate. No, 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 I've got, I've got the Caterium automated. That's one of the things we're doing today is getting it back here properly. Yeah. Because right now I've got a couple trucks on it, and the trucks don't work terribly well for it. Yep. Um, now, are you doing the concrete steel or just the regular steel? Uh, I've just been making the regular steel, although it looks like the storage unit is backed up with it. So let me steal some stuff out of that. So that way we can make this a tier 3 belt for the transfer thing. Um, I don't think I need the pipes for anything. Nope, nope. Control drag. Boom. Fill up all those stacks. I've got a bunch of concrete. I've got a little bit of wiring. Should be everything I need. So if you look up back here, so new things since you were here last, Loki. I started a factory on the hill section. So I've got some things piping along the outside of the space elevator into a multi-tier thing, which I've started to use more often. And so these things are going up over here to the hill factory, which is basically just producing the ends of the motor. So I took all the stuff that was right behind the storage unit and moved it up here. And, oh, your belts are so slow. Uh, it's because I didn't need high-speed belts for all of that transfer stuff, but I probably should put, just... Put, 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 put. <laughs> ah! You did... stole my belt. Tried to kill me? No, I'm upgrading the belt. Oh. Um, can, I was you, can you take the plates out it. of that little box that's sitting on the conveyor belt now? Hmm? There's a there's oh. a metal upgrade box, yeah. You gotta yeah, maybe stand to the side and reach it. Thank you. But, um, yeah, so we got that going, so... Over Why here... Is this one just dead end over here? Huh, because I'm eventually going to be using that cement for making the, uh... The belts, or the, uh... Upgraded belts? The steel beam encasement things. But I haven't done yeah. that yet. Over here is my refinery section. Ooh, you automated motors. Much better than I did. Yep. And so that's gonna... I'm gonna use those motors for whatever the next tier up thing is. But over here you is where them. my refineries are, and apparently I am already overfilled on some of this stuff. All right, plastic still has room, fuel still has room, but apparent no rubber still going. Okay, the refineries are being fed faster than they can process. Yes, That's fine. But so our goal is to stop using the trucks and actually use um, skybridge belts. Yeah. So I did have a skybridge belt system over here to the oil. And I ended up getting rid of it once I... Because there was a bug where I couldn't actually program the trucks. Yeah. But, well, at least the Kater like the, the quick wire is actually going in where it's supposed to. Whee! 
But yeah, the trucks just aren't efficient enough to keep everything producing. So I've got them. I'll have to deal have, with changing that. Have over. you done the upgraded trucks? Uh, no, I haven't done the upgraded trucks, but they they still end up running into things and they, they take do. too long. So the belts are just the better solution. So there, follow the arrows uh, over I... here, and we're gonna put a belt system okay. in for our oil production, and we'll rehook yeah. that back up because apparently the belts are just yeah. Look at this. The truck is just it ran oh, out of boy. gas. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna ow. So this one ended up running out of fuel on the bridge. <laughs> yeah. Which is why they're not reliable. And also, it didn't get unloaded. They took three things and then didn't unload the rest of it. Yeah. Uh, you have to... You're recording. You have to actually sit there while recording. Yeah. I was hoping it would just chunk it out and stay as oh. long as it needs to, but... Yeah. So yeah, that's one reason why we're going to get rid of the the trucks and move it to uh, not trucks. Why is my radar saying you are standing on my head? Uh, ignore the radar. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm up and across the bridge. I think you went the wrong way. I'm still in the base. Like, Oh, so go up to where the trucks were and then follow the arrows up the hill. That's where I'm at. I'm at the oil area. Although okay. I am going to take I'll a head over to oil. quick detour down here because I just saw a yellow slug. on. Do I need a chainsaw? Oh no, I can just look through here and pick it up? No. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can get this out of here with chainsaw. Aha! Can't hide from me, yellow power slug. Except there's no room for you because I have wood, apparently. Um, You know what? I'm not going to need that one spare beacon, so there we go. One yellow power slug. That one's been bugging me for a while, because I keep seeing it from the bridge that we're going on today, but mm -hmm. I never ended up running down to grab it. Hey, I'm dismantling this truck. Um, do you have enough room for all the oil in it? Yeah. Okay. I'm on my way back to you. And now, it's, now that it shows you on the radar again, it shows you behind me. Yeah, that's because I jumped off to grab the <laughs> slug, and I'm running back now. Okay. It was inside of a hollow log off the side of the bridge, and so I just jumped down to it. Probably should, uh... Ow! Well, now I have to eat two berries. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to disassemble the truck station. I'll let you do that since I think you have more... Actually, how much storage room do you have now with that much oil? Uh, row and a half. Okay, that's enough to disassemble it. As long as it's not full. Yep. Oh, if it is full... Okay, okay, new plan. So, what we'll do is... Pull the lever. These are tier three belts. Okay. <laughs> We'll make I, a... You know it, you can empty it, right? Using this one over here? Yeah. But rather than making a really complex wiring system, what I'm just going to do is I'll shuttle these into a storage unit, and then we can just take everything out and dump it in the storage unit. Yes, but you missed my point. Hook up a storage box to this outlet pipe right here. All right, yeah, let's drain it first and then then just change this over once it's drained. That's probably actually mm -hmm. a better idea. Oh, there's one oil in here that I cannot take out. And the storage you containers. You need another storage unit. Yeah, well, we, we won't need it because it's going to head down to the refinery side. All right, so now we just have to basically build the belts. And we only have one product, so we can use the little belts that we don't even need to do anything special for. 
Always build higher tier belts. No, no, it's the it's the Mach three belts, but it's not the stacked okay. things like the multi tier ones. Oh, because we only I... it's only oil coming from this side. Uh, still, um, how much oil are you producing? Um, not enough to overload a tier three belt. I think it's exactly a tier three belt's production. Okay. At which point, that's fine. Yeah. I prefer building the stacked belts just because then later when I realize there's another useful resource over here, I can just throw another one on top easily. Yeah, we have to go explore, but I can always upgrade them later if it is an issue. But for right now, I don't think we're going to have another resource. But when we go to the other place, to the coal plant, that has coal and caterium, so we will be doing the double belts. Or the stacked belts. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is so much better than the uh, trucks. Yep. It's just going to take a while to empty. Yeah, that's fine. Luckily, I had the uh, sky bridge over here still intact because I had to take this apart because the trucks wouldn't go underneath it. But mm -hmm. now... <coughs> That. Oh, it's so nice to have the Mach 3 belts on, or the Mark 3 belts on the hot bar. Yep. Yeah. You seriously didn't know you could hot bar things? No! <sighs> Hopeless. It I... tells you on the screen that you can do that. It, it gave me the tip one time, <laughs> and I never paid attention no. to it. Hit, hit Q, it's down at the bottom. Hover plus zero to nine bind the hot bar. Wow, never noticed it. Oh, you built the belt through the ground, so I can't ride it all the way back. Oh, there it goes. Back above ground. Oh, back where, in the ground. Where does it go through the ground? Okay, here's one. Mm hmm. <coughs> and then two is back here. Um, I gotta ride it. Okay. Dirt's here. Ah. Alright. And... Wow, yeah, that really is through the ground. Usually it doesn't let me do that, so I, I haven't had many issues with it. Now it's a roller coaster. It has some hills and dips. That one's probably going to end up still through the ground. Oh, this is the other reason why I like the stacked ones. Mm -hmm. They're ladders. That is true. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> How am I moving faster than you? Uh, I think the main player always moves faster on the belts. Like they lag less or something. Ah, that makes sense. Wham. Because because I noticed the same thing happening on my server. All right. Well, at least that means the storage unit is not going to be the limiting factor for the uh, oil refinery set. Okay, we're just about maxed out on fuel. So Hello I'll, down there. I'll just make a quick storage container. So eventually I'm going to be setting up the computer factory, but for right now... I'm just trying to get it to do the initial processing. All right, so let's go get rid of the other trucks. There's one of them if you want to disassemble it. Okay. Come back! Because it should hopefully be empty. Holy hell, it's fast. Okay, we'll have to catch it on the way back around. <laughs> I'll catch it eventually. Yeah, so here's the gas region. So let's get this whole system going. Yeah, I definitely recommend researching supercomputers. Yeah, I'm going to be researching things when I have the, uh... Oop, that's a bad one. I definitely will be researching them once I get the capacity for them. Okay, oof, the lag. Sorry, I'm following the truck. That's fine. All 
All right, there we go. So, did you disassemble the truck or the other truck? Not yet. Okay. It was it was full, so I'm emptying it. Ah. <coughs> Smart plan. You have to back it out of range first, and then you can. Yeah. So let me get rid of this conveyor belt. So that way the quick wire stops feeding in. Also, I made uh, some bounce pads over here for quicker getting up to the Caterium. And a gel pool so we can drop down back into it. Just the bounce pads? Right over here. Boing. Boing. Boom. So much fun. And then all you gotta do, just land in the jello pool. Love it. Okay, that's fun. Yeah. I, I, I finally got around to building them, because I'd been like, yeah, I don't need to build them and mess with them, but no, it was fun to play with. Bouncy, 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 splat. Okay, so now we gotta figure out this mess. Um, so... Ooh. Let's do a storage container here. I think I'm gonna upgrade your, uh... Quick wire tower. You know what? <coughs> there we go. Nope. That one's backwards. You know what? Storage um, containers are now to... on eight. I use them often enough. Yep. Okay. inside of each other? Oh, wow. Did not know you could do that. What? Right. Accidentally put uh, two belts inside of each other. <laughs> or two uh, towers. I just double-clicked and it built two of them. Okay. And then... <coughs> don't need this entire belt here because we don't need to fuel the trucks anymore. I'll leave most of the rest of this other system for merging and stuff. Mach 3, Mach 3, Mach 3. And then we'll just go into there. So now we have a unified buffer container set. And then if you can just transfer the coal into that storage unit. There's... Way too little storage container for that. Yeah, I figured as much. There we go. So I'm going to go run. Um, do you have the material to do more stackable tops? I do not. Uh, here, let me give you it. Um, it is these plates. Concrete. Hold on. That should be what you need. Do you have the rods? Yep. They're up on the top. Top. Okay. Good work. <coughs> you know you can go further than this, right? What do you mean? Oh, I was just as I was running, I was placing them. Okay. If you let, if you let, think you can get rid of every other one, probably then. Okay, let me teach you the trick. You run a belt to see the max length, yeah, and then you place uh -huh. one down. 
Yeah, I was just trying to be quick about it. Okay. Why is my hotbar empty? That's really irritating. Um. Okay. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna make another storage container. The coal probably could use extra. Oh, I'm. I need ten iron rods. Um. Do we have any in here? No, of course not. Oh well, not a big deal. The only issue I ever have with these things is that they snap a little funny. Yeah, they... They have too many snap too. points and it can't decide which one is the one I'm looking at. It's why you build the first belt first, and then build the top one. Mm. This goes way smoother with two people, though, I gotta say. Just be careful you're in the gas zone. I don't actually don't mind if there's extra in the gas zone. So... Is that about right to here? Yep. Rotate it right? No, hold on. <coughs> Sorry, I... <coughs> Do these things not get up at certain times of the day? Usually they'd be gassing uh, me to death right now. Which ones? The, the, the glass plants. I fortunately do not see any of them. Yeah, the, the ones with the blue flower. The one that just to the left that just stood up. About to release yeah. gas. I can't see any of them. Huh. Which means they're probably going to kill me when the lag finally catches up. Well, then head over this way, because we're almost out of the zone. Yep, there's the gas. Yep. Luckily, the gas dissipates, so once we... Uh, Get this belt snapped and get past here where we can go back through for the second pass when they've gotten rid of it. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna just feed this right over to where that trucking station is. And then we'll do our split from there. Alright, so you got rid of both trucks. So this thing is still emptying itself out. Ah, 
now I have an inventory space. these have room in them? Oh yeah, they do. Okay. So I'm just gonna disassemble this guy. And I'll disassemble this belt, because we don't need it feeding fuel anymore. So half of the coal goes up, half of it goes down. This A, that's a tier 3 belt. Alright, I'm gonna go get myself some, some more supplies and I'll be back. Are you just running back putting second tiers on? Yep. Okay. I can't put the belts on them yet, but... That's fine. I've got tons of the belt material, I think. Let me see. Yeah, I'm running a little short. I should probably pick some more up. Replenished my stock of basic materials. How's our power? Power seems stable, so that's good. Alright, so we actually don't need this smart splitter here anymore. time, it always complains it being too steep whenever I get rid of a splitter. But, whatever. It's probably because the physics are weird when they snap. Alright, and that yeah, line that's pretty much what it is. will go up to the upper factory. Oh. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Oh, and you're... This, I think, will be easier if I just go all the way. That's great. As I load in, it's like, it's doing the, like, fabrication sparks as I load each update. Nice. Alright, so now we're going to have a dedicated quick wire and dedicated coal line and... From now on, I'm just going to make giant assembly lines, because uh, that seems to be the best way of doing it. Right, are you feeding the uh, other stuff back there into a box, or what were you doing? I'm redoing your, uh, your ladder belt. Oh, what's wrong with my ladder belt? I, I left it so that I could have a second thing filtering down if I found another resource somewhere up there. Yes, and I have a better way. All right, I'll come and take a look when you're done. And 
then I get, we get to set up some electronics factories. Bring me some iron bars. Okay. The rods? Yes. Alright, I've got three stacks on me, so as soon as I'm done with this... I do like the look of the, like, multi-stack uh, belts. It just looks really nice seeing them up there like that. Also, was I using tier threes all the way down, or is only using two tier twos down those belts? Twos. Oh yeah, because I don't need any more production because I'm only able to make tier twos levels. And then this will just bring things in as fast as it can go. The coal is already chugging along. I think one of my belts somewhere is screwed up, though, because I'm not getting, like, a full constant stream coming down. It could be I'm not producing 270 units of coal per tick, but... We'll have to see. Someday, gas-producing rock things. Someday. Actually, someday soon. I'm only, like, two researches away from having gas masks. So that's nice. Wait, what the hell? Why are you completely backed up? Did I use the wrong belt on a section? Oh my god, I actually used a regular conveyor belt for this section. Oops. <laughs> that explains why it got backed up. I was wondering why our production didn't seem to be making it, but one belt was only pumping 60 a second off, and now it's pumping 270. Nice. Yes, an unbroken chain of production. Sadly going to be slightly laggier than having a truck drive around. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, actually, it appears to be much, much, much less laggy. If you look at the truck AI from was too range, complicated. Well, if you look at a belt from long range, you'll it, notice it updates them in in chunks so that yeah. they'll, they'll jump. <clears throat> now, having me around, probably yes, laggy, but. All right, where did the? Oh, I guess we're. That's everything. Alright, so what are these producing a second? 120 a minute. You know what? I'm updating everything to Mach 3 belts. Because I've got absolute tons of it. And that way, none of the belts are... Yeah, this is just a two belt slowing down production if we ever overclock these guys. Keep forgetting I can just click on them. Boom, boom, boom. Now it's running smooth. Yep, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. Perfect. It's coming in and out. It's just as fast as it is going. We actually probably don't need these buffer things anymore because the system is set up.
And then we just have a whole bunch of extra coal that we have to get rid of somewhere. What are these things storage like? That's a hundred full. That's a hundred full. Yeah, I'm also going to need some reinforced plates. Okay, so this is producing 120. The tier 3 belts are 270, right? Yeah, okay. So they're more than capable of handling two inputs. Alright, you want me to just update the whole belt system? Holy shit, it all conformed in one. Whoa! Oh, that looks so much cooler than the wall set up. Yep. And it's climbable. Oh, so I don't need the giant staircase. But I'm going to keep it because it has my bouncy pads. But from in the future, I won't ever have to use it. Oh, that it looks so cool. It actually takes more built to build, sadly. Um, it's. I thought it would be less expensive. It's actually more. But it's still infinitely it looks cooler. cooler looking. Yeah. I'm gonna die. Splat. <laughs> um, and it'll still let you do a double helix. Nice. I built it specifically for... Oh, that's cool. If you have a belt three in your hand, it'll only let you highlight belt twos or lower. Uh, that's not true. It doesn't highlight belt threes. That is true. It, 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 it highlights anything but the belt that you currently have, so it's easy to tell which sections aren't upgraded. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I can upgrade from a mile away. Yeah. Okay, so this bottom one, I changed out, so I we'll want to switch these out. This ah. was me just setting up the double helix so that you could start it easier. Okay. <laughs> so if I do have another product, I'll just connect it through to that. All right. Yep. Oh, did you go all the way up? I didn't finish the top because I couldn't reach. <laughs> I ran out of materials. Yeah, I'm just checking for upgrades. All right, so what... Oh, we need more of the rods. Here, let me give you a stack. Um, down here, by the gel pod. There is two stacks. Okay. The best part. Do, 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 do. Oh, actually, we don't, we don't have to take the long way. That's what the jump pad's for. I'm still faster than the jump pads, even. Okay, so how does it work? You go up two belt things from the last one. Like that. Uh, you know you can actually build backwards. Oh, okay. Once a belt has a direction, it's smart enough to keep the direction. Oh, okay, because that was a worry I always had. Yeah. It is smart enough to keep going in the direction you want. You just have to have it connected to a machine that forces a nope. direction. Once you build the first belt, oh, it knows the direction. One more up on that, yeah. Okay, and then... Upgrade, upgrade... Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Alright, that's processing 60 ore a minute. This is taking 60 ore a minute. And it's producing 60 quick wire a minute. Nice. The belts are finally faster than the production system. But yeah, I haven't even begun to explore this giant forest over here. Mostly because it's still a little frame laggy. Oh, those oh. look cool spiraling down. Yep. And because yeah, there's no walls, it just You can looks watch awesome. it. Yeah. <laughs> that is a much slicker system. I had not considered doing it that way. 
I hadn't either, and then I saw a video that did it, and I was like, yep, has to be done. Yep. Um, however, as previously mentioned, the ladder is almost the best part. Okay, so foundation... Ow. Okay. So, I placed a foundation so I can get to the ladder. Uh, yeah, the ladders are much quicker than the stairs. Oh my god, I could have just made up. You died. <laughs> yeah, I I turned to look and walked off the ladder. Oh. I died too. So that's a, that's a downside, is I got off to the top of the ladder and launched myself, and you apparently can't grab a ladder midair. I think that's my first death. You can, but it's really hard. Oh no, please tell me no keep inventory. Oh my god, we have to run back to corpses. Yep. Corpse runs! We don't have our boots, though. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's so painful. But yeah, the, the ladders are just insanely better. So, I, no I think the optimal way to do this, you make the spiral... But you set the spiral up so that down at the bottom in the center there's a gel pool. Just Either in case in you fall or off. On the side. But yes, I, I was thinking the same thing as I put the jewel pool next to the one of the external ladders. Yeah. But I mean it's nice. Too bad we don't have a conveyor belt system going backwards just for transport. That was one thing I wanted to do, is just put, like, conveyor belts around the base so I could just jump to different ones and just not walk, ever. Fully automate myself. <laughs> oh, we gotta run through the gas place so why real not? slow. I've mostly just been too lazy. Plus, the terrain is a little bumpy, so it would take a lot of fiddling to keep you from going into the earth. Oh my god, you, you don't realize how much you cared about those boots until, you know, you don't have them. <sighs> how much of a difference they made. Luckily, I died at the bottom of the ladder, so I don't have to climb the damn thing again and then die again. Uh, we discovered that last time. It's when you click, not when you die. Yeah, it's where your corpse <laughs> settles when you click. Oh, it's beautiful watching those things just filter down, though. Finally, this place is fully optimized. Oh, so the other good thing about the uh, stacked belts... Mm -hmm. They're just the proper height for you to be able to run underneath the first one. Yeah, that was the thing I had to set up before I had access to them, is I put a bunch of poles so I could run under the lines... There we go. Re-equip those. Sort my inventory. All right. Do you... Oh, you're still coming back? I would... I guess you can go through the water. Oh, yeah. If I ever need coal, there's apparently another node right here that's pure. And right over there, too. But uh, that would require tier 4 belts to have uh, 480 coal running on them. Well, not necessarily. Or a third line, or a another level. Sort. Boots back on. Whip them back on, and I'm good to go. So this storage unit will eventually drain itself of all its excess, and then we'll be good. I love how this whole thing to just run off the coal power plant next to the coal deposits, so it just works out. <laughs> Alright, um... Shall we head back and start working on a bit of a supercomputer factory? Or possibly a better oil system? Because I don't know how much oil in-out production I have, so I gotta get that balanced. 
It is a little sad that some of this coal is... Actually, the coal is, I think, fine. It's not being wasted at all, either. We can ride it back! Holy crap, this is kind of nauseating, and if it deviates from a straight line, you get stuck on the edge of it, but... We... Oh, this is the way to travel. Screw driving and exploring by car. I'm just gonna build belts. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> gas plants. You wouldn't even be able to stand up by the time I'm out of your zone. Oh, this is nice. The ghost. Build a ramp out of the top tier belt and stand on it. Ah. Uh... Do it. Do it. Just don't point it off a cliff, please. At a cliff, maybe, but not off a cliff. <laughs> um, let me just build a ramp off of this thing, then. Oh, apparently I can't, because of how it's set up. But yeah, that's the upper factory's coal. So let's see. Oh, this one doesn't launch me. It doesn't have enough air because it's just based on a regular one. All right. <coughs> um, yeah, you, you've got to get some height on it. to. Oh, our oil's done. We need to go run back over to the oil area. Ooh, I actually need to make sure I heal. Uh, what's with this tractor? Did you build this? Wait. Ah, uh, yeah, that's my exploring one. Oops. It's fine. Honestly, with the boots, it's almost better to not use the truck to explore. Because I can just okay. drop a crafting thing down. Don't even worry about rebuilding it. Hold on. I, I wanted to show you something. Drive. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that they actually have the, uh... Gotta put gas in the tank. Sorry. You mentioned that they have the grip physics, so you can just ride up there and it's a two-person vehicle. Yep. Now, if you clip me on a, a building or a tree or a belt, you'll probably kill me, but... <laughs> but yeah, like, that's really nice. And look at how much big open space we have right here for the rest of the factory. Where am I? Hmm? Oh, I lagged. Oh. And then all of a sudden reappeared somewhere else. Hey, wait, there's a gas field up here? Oh. Oh, and there's another Mercer sphere. What do you mean gas field? The gas plants. The so the so poison you do not plants. you do not yeah, the poison plants. Okay. That's fine. But yeah, so the factory is going to fill up like this valley area here cuz it's a nice big open area. Yeah. Yeah, right, so the computer one, I was not brave enough to automate. I went the brute force way. Ah, we're going to automate it. So first off, what we need to do is go restore our oil because it, we drained the machine, so I need to go fix that. Okay. And then I'll ride the belt back. Yay! <laughs> That's the thing, is you, you learn to just ride the belts on the yeah. way back home. Whereas with the cars, <laughs> like, it's because you're driving the car back and forth, it's just less efficient in general, apparently. I like the cars for exploring. The thing is, you always leave enough room you can you can demolish it, and then you ride the belt back. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, the, the, the nice thing about the car and stuff is you have an internal storage, and it comes with a crafting thing, so you don't have to keep dropping one, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, but we're at the tech level that dropping one isn't a big deal anymore. Yeah. Oh, you clipped through the ground a couple places again. Oh, deck over here? Yep. Alright, easy enough to fix. Had You're to building fix that. level threes? Yeah. It's the highest I can do right now, and I have, like, near-infinite steel, because I haven't gotten anything automated to use it. 
Alright, so we don't actually even need this splitter anymore. Nope. Uh, hold on. It's gonna clip. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Production line restored. Oil shall now flow into the factory. I have two oil pools over there, actually, Loki. I didn't see the second one when we were over exploring the first time. Uh, is that enough to overload the belt? Nope, belt holds 270. Each one produces, I think, 120. Okay. Actually, let me go back and double check, because I didn't look at those too carefully. And then someday yeah, we're going to go and do an exploration. Maybe next episode. Like, I know I want to build the factory and stuff, but it's not super urgent to get, like all of it built. We might go explore up by those cactus flower things. The cactus balloons. Okay, belt number one is 120. It's belt 60, 120, and then... It's 120. 270. And, okay, and then it goes to on. like 450 for the next one. So each belt yeah. is actually slightly greater than double the last ones. Yep. Yep, so it, it should be able to handle them both. Uh, oil pump 1 pumps out 120. Oil pump 2 pumps out 120. Let me just... Yeah. Where's That's my what scanner? Um, uh, oil. Whee! Now I gotta write back. Uh, so nauseating. Okay, and that's detecting... I missed my sky bridges. Yeah, you, you built yours with transport in mind and made them nice and straight and stuff. Huh. None of that this oil deposit doesn't even ping. inducing crap. What's going on? Uh, I was just pinging around to see if there's... Oh my god, there's a third one. Third what? Oil? Yeah, it's a pure oil node. Oh, hell. So they all ping as a single oil thing on the yeah. scanner, which is why I never realized there were other pools to begin with. Yep, but you see the little blue dot on the ground when they ping. <laughs> well, I'm going to hook the other one up as well. You're going to want to convert these to stacks. <laughs> oh, yeah, we would have to... Well, no, I could just have that thing running at a quarter capacity for right now. And then once I get tier four belts, it'll solve itself without a stack. Because this is literally the only resource over in this area. Yeah. Um, do I have the material to make an oil pump? No, I'm missing two of the enhanced frames, so never mind. Yeah, they're kind of pricey. All right, well, if I ever become short of oil, we can still increase oil output by 50% more. Okay. I definitely recommend getting at least one more plastic producer. Yeah, I figured plastic's the one I'm going to need more of. I just wanted to get a little bit of everything stockpiled automatically while I was waiting. Yeah, fuel is useful for its own reasons. Um... Yeah, I haven't quite researched the fuel power plant, but it's getting to the point where I'm kind of needing to, because my uh, seven or eight or however many coal plants I have, most of them are 250 overclocked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I uh, forgot to tell you. I have two power plants. Yeah, you were mentioning you had geothermal or something as a yep. discovered tech later on. So that's even cooler. I didn't even know there was, you know, more stuff like that up there. Oh, and rubber's done. Sadly, you cannot overclock them. Hmm. It's broken right now. All right, so you said another plastic one, probably? I would recommend one more plastic. All and right. it looks like you're going through resources slowly enough that that's not gonna harm you. Yep. <laughs> But plastic was the biggest resource that kept killing me. Okay. Um, 
What are these things? Refineries? Oh, I need 20 pipes and... Oh, wait, that's, that's the upgraded frame, isn't it? The heavy frame. Is it? Alright, so I don't have those producing themselves yet, so I need to... Oh, it's so nice watching my um, steel smelting and stuff going nicely. Yep. Alright, so let's get that on my to-do list. Does that to-do list share to you or no? No. Okay. We would each have our own to-do list, which is nice. Alright, what's a heavy modular frame take? Uh, do you have the upgraded recipe for them? Uh, yes. I recommend looking at it first. It is better in every way. Alright. Are these things behind by anything? 45 coal a minute in. No, it seems like it's keeping up with the coal. I was just making sure I didn't need to uh, drop... Uh, none of my miners are tier 2. Yeah, I haven't bothered with those yet. Like, I can't transport that much material and, like, actually use it. I know. Right. Alternative heavy modular frame requires 10 cement beams. It's expensive. Okay. No, it's actually way cheaper. Oh, yeah, it's still cheaper. Yeah, but the, the alternate. It's expensive. Because the other one requires five beams, but it also needs screws, and now I don't even have to care about screws. I can just go straight in with concrete. And concrete, I got so ridiculously much of. All right. That, oh, that makes three frames even. That is that's, wow, that's a why really good recipe. Yeah. It's like everything else is like okay, big deal, big deal. Three of them at a time. All right, one oil refinery coming up. Okay, you've got the last tech on the the base elevator. Nice. Damn, they added some new sounds in one of the update patches. Why? You, you drop an oil refinery and it sounds like, you know, an explosion. Hmm? Also, why are these not all tier 3 belts? Every belt shall be tier 3. I think I'm just going to run through the entire base and just upgrade everything to tier 3. Yeah. I have so much steel right now because I haven't gotten anything using it automated wise. Like, there's no reason not to. But yeah, I figured because all of the computer stuff requires plastic, that plastic would be a uh, double production kind of a thing. It is. I overclocked mine and I'm still hurting. go there's now a third branch off and then you need power there we go actually you know what i need to make a new power pole yeah the the, the six-way power poles i mean they're definitely more convenient but honestly you don't need them in a lot of places I like seeing the cables and stuff hooked up to a lot of different things and chaining down, but I could probably upgrade some things. All right, well, that's now producing, so we're using up our oil. We just go through and spam up all the belts and just upgrade them all. Oh, my God, upgrading belts is so easy with this. Oh, I'm out of, actually out of the steel. Let me go get another couple of tons of stacks. Get 
much as I can carry. Oh, I love how easy it is just to spot them and then upgrade them, too. You just put your mouse over it, and if it highlights it, you click. If it doesn't highlight it, it's already a tier 3. Also, I like how when you upgrade it, it doesn't put the materials in your inventory. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember that I have X number of things on it. I'm just going to put that on the upgraded version and not fill your inventory with flowers and leaves and crap. Ah, oh, upgrade it all. Improved efficiency everywhere. No machine shall ever have to wait for an object again. Actually, looking at things, I've got a lot of backed up lines. Like, I just don't have the storage for some of the stuff we're producing. That's crazy. I also like how each conveyor belt has its own look. Like it looks more and more advanced the more, you know, what level it is. Still there, Loki? Oh, dang it, I've been muted and ah. talking to myself. I figured it was something like that. Ah. Oh. So much beautiful belts, I need more steel. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Mm hmm? Um. I seem to have made a miscalculation about how much storage space I had for the uh, regular steel plates. Yeah. I don't have enough. <laughs> it's currently backed up on the steel plate line and my inventory filled up, so now I got boxes on half the conveyor belts when I was replacing them because I couldn't hold the uh, steel for I was getting back out of it. Oh, Whoops. nice. I'll just put down a storage container real quick. Oh, and the worst part is, like, the boxes have, like, four steel in them. Or four plates in them. But it makes my construction or my conveyor belts look dumb. All right, I think that was the ones I had issues with. All right, there's my steel. All right, cool. So I still need to do the factory up on the hill upgrades and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to do the rest of these belt upgrades off camera. Because, I mean, it doesn't really have to be done on camera. And I'm going to have to clean up the boxes and stuff. Things keep getting dropped from. Because apparently it takes even less belt or even less material to do the same length of belt. So it's not filling the stacks in my inventories equally. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, when, we, when we're back next time, uh, we'll go and start working on the computer factory. I see you painting things. <laughs> Damn it. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.